Hello, I'm Chris Hopkins, and I'm going to talk to you about geometry in video games. Geometry plays a huge part in the development of video games. They rely on the use of thousands of circles, squares, triangles, and many other geometric shapes to form the figures you see on your screen. Let's first take a look at a classic video game that was developed in the 80s called Super Mario. Almost all of the games created around this time were two-dimensional. Super Mario is no exception, as it is composed entirely of squares. This style of video game creation uses was standard before the popularization of 3D vector graphics. Let us now look at a modern game that uses three-dimensional graphic design. Call of Duty is an excellent example of how three-dimension graphics design is used in video games. The way a programmer makes a game look three-dimensional is a complicated process. They start with a focal point in the middle of the screen and work out from there. After constructing the focal point, lines are constructed that radiate from the point to the four corners of the screen. Lines and shapes are then inserted to the original lines to give the game depth. After this outline is created, the designer starts to add colors. This used to be done by hand on pieces of paper, but now it is all done on the computer working with each pixel in the screen to incorporate geometric shapes into the game. There are over 18 million pixels in an HD television, so this can be a long process. Video game programmers must have a very good understanding of geometry and how to turn two-dimensional objects into three-dimensional objects. Now let's look at a few examples of designers creating a video game. Notice how they start with the polygons, with big polygons, to represent the shapes that they want. They then add more and more to get more definition in the figures. Finally, I want to go back to Call of Duty to talk about one of my favorite concepts, hitboxes. Assigned to each player is a number of hitboxes that correlate to the polygons that they are made of. A hitbox on the head of a character will be much smaller than the one on his torso. When a shooter fires his weapon at an enemy, a bullet is, pro is projected in a straight line towards the other character. If the line happens to intersect another player's hitbox, that player will take a certain amount of damage according to which hitbox got intersected. Now look at these two players as they battle it out. This guy sees an enemy on the crashed plane. He fires his weapon and the bullet comes out in a straight line towards him but misses the character completely. The enemy then shoots back and takes him out. He then looks to his left and sees an enemy in the distance. He fires his weapon and again the bullet comes out in a straight line going across the map. It finally intersects the other player's hitbox located at his torso and the player dies. This is just a brief introduction of how graphic design uses geometry for video games. There is much, much more involved in making a top-selling video game, but you can already see how important geometry is in this process, even though you might not think about it while you're playing.